when we do process uh, implementations. I created the data element, but I haven't attached it to the process. Because what we need is that when the process flows, in one or more swing lanes, I put my, uh, I, I, I attach my business object to the process. So every time I update something in a, in a user task or in a system task, I will refer back to this business object. So I have, um, so this business object will be input and output to all these activities. And every time I hit the submit button or integrate button, I will update this one. So I need to <coughs> tell the process that this is the, the object to use in the variables tab. And because, and this is uh, maybe not logical, um, this green one should be called, in my mind, global, because that's the global business object for the process. But for some reason, we still call it private. So I will add call this uh, uh, lookup lookup data yeah. that's a spelling mistake two case need to lock, lock up there I always do that not so important with a capital <laughs> types types are with, with a capital <laughs> and attributes with the lowercase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it is. And for 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 uh, customer information, you would go small small c, uh, large i, and camel case. You know what we call it. Camel case for attributes, uh, uppercase for types. Okay, so lookup data is a type. And I will select from my list of uh, all, I know, I know all kinds of data objects. But the one we created uh, was called, anyone remember? What did we call it? Customer history. Okay. So the, the process will uh, live from the lookup data of the <coughs> customer history. And it can even be uh, a list. It can be more than one, so it can be a list. You won't do that now. You learn in the labs how to make lists and refer to uh, different uh, parts of. And you can see now I have attached uh, this uh, lookup data, and it contains all the values that we talked about before. So the process has uh, we have defined the, the the data for the process. We can even uh, give it some default data. So we put in today's date and uh, and zero things like. This also means that uh, the data object is uh, declared in memory. So you, if you want to refer this later on, it's in computer memory. Also good. Okay, back to the process. I wasn't in the process. Diagram. If I have opened a lot, a lot of stuff, uh, user interfaces and things like that, I have a, a drop down list of things that I'm working on. So you can quickly select uh, whatever element you want to focus on. So this is still a human activity. I can even give it some, also as in uh, Blue Works Live, I can, uh, I can color it. We normally color uh, human activities yellow. It's almost a standard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I can anywhere, but now I can uh, now I can run the, the wizard. I will call it look up stuff. Look up stuff. Next, and you can see now. And that's the good part. Now I have access to the look up data of type custom history. Running the wizard, and I can click my. Finish button. And 
now when we look at the implementation, you can see I have a user task using this user interface as the implementation. Okay? Mm, maybe. So when I want to show that is how to report the data, but how can we uh, modify the data? Modify the interaction? Yeah. Yes. Simply uh, now we we'll take a look at what has been created. Okay. So I will uh, double click this one. And when I double click this one, I move from standard BPMN to IBM BPM implementation style. So this is not BPMN, this, this is the implementation diagram for this user task. We'll learn in the labs. <laughs> so we call a user interaction, we call uh, coaches. This is how we uh, define what's going on with the, with the, the users, we call it coaches. That's a, Long story uh, why it's called uh, coaches. If you want to look it up, it's uh, it's about Wins Lombardi, the football coach. But his theory was that with good coaching, you can make even a medium uh, talented football team. He was a football coach. If you give him the right coaching, you can make a mediocre football team into world champions just by good coaching. And he actually did it, did it, and, and won the um, uh, the Vince Lombardi uh, Trophy. Yeah. So it's called coaches, where we coach the users to do the right thing. Which is uh, a, a nice uh, analogy. So we coach users. So I, once again, double click uh, the coach, and here we can see what has been created may not be that fancy at first, but you can see, uh, I've actually, uh, with this with this uh, wizard, I've created um, a customer number, payment address, date, everything is in there, uh, even a button, so submit the code, let's create a form. So how do I test this? And this is the, the important part of uh, working with uh, this tool, is that you can actually test wherever you are. So every time I want to test how this would look for the end users, I can uh, click this uh, small triangle and run the service. This is a co what we call a coach service. So I can run it. So it's open in, uh, in your uh, BPM on cloud environment. And uh, you can keep going stuff. Here is my coach. I can actually. Put in some, uh, some numbers, uh, payment, and all. Oh, that's a wizard. So it's uh, it's in there. So you can easily uh, create a rough uh, uh, user interfaces for your process. And this is uh, you. Of course, you have to find your ambition uh, level. Uh, how, how far do you want to take this? And, and you can style this with uh, style sheets, with nice forms around it, uh, put it in tables, whatever you want. But you can also focus on the functionality of the process. So we, we won't go into the, to the finer details of user interface, but we will make the process work. And that's up to you to, to decide. But here you get all the, 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 the tools you need to capture the data, save the data in, in the process, and use the data for, for any uh, integration dummy you want to uh, you want to uh, in, in the process. So that was a, a coach. We have in the in the account we have um, uh, one of our business partners. Uh, they call BP Three. They have a, a user interface toolkit, uh, as we call them. Back to the designer. You can see I have a list here of, uh, of uh, toolkits. Uh, they sort of have the same structure as a process application, but we call them toolkits because they can be shared uh, between process applications. 
So, the, for example, this BP3 Brazos UI toolkit, you can find uh, more information and, and guidelines on their website. It's open. Um, here we can uh, here you can create some some nicer looking uh, user interfaces. We don't have to start there, but it's it's nice to know that um, it's uh, it's available. It's, I have uploaded it. Uh, it's a shareware free of charge uh, toolkit. <coughs> Unless you use it for businesses, you have to pay a fee for the service. Anyway.